This video is a description of how to make a tarp using just poles and rope and many Boy Scout methods and tools. The poles and the tarp and the ropes stay as one unit when assembled. Each corner is reinforced with duct tape and attaches to the pole by way of parachute cord. Simple setup goes as fast almost all the time as the large garage type tarps which have a tendency to blow away in the wind and do not teach many knot tying skills. The first job then is to pull the poles and lay them out away from the tarp. So the guys are going to show you how they do that. They just kind of flip the poles over after it's been unfolded and they'll lay the three of them out, lay them out in the different directions. So they're laid out. So the poles and the rope guy lines are now going to be spun out from the tarp. Good. So now what happens is we stand up the two tallest poles and we stake out the guy lines for those two tallest poles. The guys will show you how quick that goes. You can do this with four guys very easily, three guys a little easier, and even two guys can do it if they need to by pulling the poles up and then holding them up with the stakes. So there are two guy lines to each pole and the guys are going to stake out each of those guy lines at a bit of an angle from each other. You'll see that going up right now and that will show you how that's done when we're finished. So each guy line has a taut line hitch loop tied to the end. Let's slide it out a little bit further so we've got better angle on it so we can slide the taut line hitch down. And this is why we use the taut line hitch. We teach them that as a requirement in scouting. This gives them the opportunity to actually use it. In a so the next thing they'll do is work on either the front or the back. It doesn't matter too much. A lot of times we find the front sets up a little bit easier. They'll put the two guy lines out on the front. And you'll notice that the poles are connected across the front with, a, with another rope. The rope actually connects the poles and then goes down to where the tarp out. is attached to the poles with a piece of parachute cord. The tension is not actually pulled on the tarp. The tension is pulled on the rope that connects the two poles to each other, which is held apart from itself with a knot in the place of the inside. We rotate a little bit. You can see that knot. And then a figure eight going to the outside where the guy lines attach. That way, the tarp is not being pulled so intensively it's the weight is entirely on the ropes. After doing the front, you do the back and the same way and pull it nice and snug and tight. And then after all six poles are up, there usually is an adjustment that needs to be made to make sure the tarp gets nice and snug. Once again, you can see the way the poles and the tarp and the lines are attached to each other. The lines that we tie the tarp up with are girth hitched onto the back of the fly and we get the other corner on nice and snug as well. So you have a nice tarp set up in your campsite and the guys will now demonstrate what we do with the patrol box. We essentially take the patrol box, put it towards the back of the tarp and then we'll take our water cooler and put it on top of the patrol box and the water cooler holds the tarp up nicely in the back and gives you a little bit more headroom. We found that this tarp stays up very well in all kinds of windy conditions and it also teaches the skills that scouting likes us to do. You betcha. We reinforce the corners with tape to make sure that the grommets stay in place. We make our own two and a half by two and a half essentially and then we bevel the edge We've made ours out of quarter sawn maple that we cut here in the Adirondacks, it's kiln dried. But you find the wood that works from your area that makes the most sense. Of course, we'd stay away from pine that has any knots in it because it's just going to... So when the tarp is all the way up, you can see how it is as you look all the way around it. You see how it gets put together. Works real nice. Gives you lots of room does have the added complexity of the guy lines sticking out, but it doesn't take too long before people understand that that's the way it's supposed to be.
and it doesn't create any problems. So to take the tent down or the tarp down, you take out the middle poles. Just go ahead, guys. Let's take her down, show how quick this comes down. You just feed those into the middle as you take them down. Go, go. Fold those in the middle. Then you take your tent stakes out. Make sure that you're pulling the tent stakes. Oftentimes, just pull on the rope, and it'll take the tent stakes out real easily. We don't. We made a mistake when we first used this tarp of laying the tent stakes in the tarp when we rolled it up and we found that those tent stakes had a tendency to poke holes in the tarp and so we just pull the tent stakes, throw our guy lines into the middle and then so that we can fit it in our trailer what we do is we compress the middle poles together so that they are the narrowest length possible so that they're both lined up with themselves we bring the end tent stakes in the same way and we fold the edges in kind of nicely and then two guys will roll it up from the back end somebody will take it home all kinds of scout stuff happening all around us at this short little small campery with our local district and the guys have taken the the lines off the back end that we keep stored there until we're ready to roll it up we have a tendency to roll, what we found is rolling just a little bit from the front, just a short distance from the front and stopping and then rolling the rest of it from the back seems to help us up. So those guys are going to stop now and then what they'll do is they'll run around to the back and they'll roll the back towards the front. And then for whatever reason we've just found that that system seems to make it easier to unroll everything. They're getting it nice and tight so it takes up as little room in our troop trailer as is possible. And they've got the three lines that they took from the back. And those three lines will become the three lines that tie the tarp. They use a square knot. Again, it gives these guys time and practice to do their square knot correctly each time. They get it under, one on each. Boom, boom, boom. And we're all set. Of course, they have to remember to do their square knot. Some of the older guys do it quicker and faster. There you go. And we get it nice and snug. Sometimes two guys, somebody to put a finger on, and you see, there it goes. And much like roping a calf, they're all ready to go. Show the camera your teeth, Troop 12, and we're good.